Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Goldenberg. I'm the president of Nats of Southern Alberta. In the coming weeks, the Nats chapter is going to be hosting a series of videos on their YouTube channel featuring different warm-up routines from our Nats members. I hope you find these warm-ups and exercises inspiring, motivating, perhaps you'll be able to incorporate them into your own routines. These times are challenging for singers. We are really having to pivot and rethink the way that we do things. This time will end and it is a great time to really hone your skills, learn your craft and do what you do best. There is no reason to stop. So I encourage you to keep it up. You'll see that there are opportunities for you to post your own videos on YouTube and I look forward to seeing every one of you at Songfest in March. Today I'm going to start us all off with a routine that I do for myself. I use it for my singers, I use it for my speakers, I use it for my inexperienced students and my very experienced high-level singers too. I hope you find it useful and by the end you should be ready to tackle all of those wonderful vocalises and exercises that you have in your own warm-up routine. Let's begin by finding our tall alignment, organizing our body and bringing attention to the movement of the breath. Bringing the ears over the shoulders, over the rib cage, over the hips, over the knees and down to the arches of the feet. To get that feeling of extended spine, bring your hands up over your head and gently press up through the crown without overarching your back. Bring your arms back down as your head remains lifted and your spine extended. Now let's bring our focus to the breath. We're preparing for the athletic event of singing, so this will be slightly faster than what we do for quiet breathing. At this point, let's take small breaths, about a cup of air. Here we're mostly relying on elastic recoil, but you can start to slightly engage your abdominal muscles while making sure your upper chest stays relatively still. Pay attention to your neck, make sure that you aren't transferring tension. Here's a view from the side. Continue to pay attention to your neck alignment and ensure your chest stays still. Now let's move on to a larger breath. Call it the 30 to 70% breath, neither fully in nor fully out. Again, inflating the tire around you 360 degrees, giving attention to your pelvic floor as the base of your breath and the origin of your exhale. Finally, let's move into our full breath, moving about 90% of our available air. Again, we focus on a quick inhale followed by a slower exhale, bringing the belly button toward the spine, gently lifting the pelvic floor and allowing the chest to remain buoyant. Gently roll your shoulders and give a wiggle. Let's tilt your head to the side, inhale, and as you exhale, roll to the other side. Inhale here and exhale as you roll to the other side. We're trying to release some of the tension we might be holding in the back of the neck. As we know, those muscles are connected to the larynx and if they're tight, the voice tends to be tight too. One more time. Inhale and exhale as you move. Come to the center and allow the head to dangle as you release the back of your neck. Roll your shoulders and give it a wiggle. Reach your arms up as you inhale and exhale on S. Reach up and exhale on SH. Inhale, exhale on an F. Inhale, exhale on TH. Roll your shoulders and reset. Now we'll do the same thing but with the voiced versions of these fricatives. Inhale and glide high to low on Z. Same thing on Z. Same thing on V. 
Inhale and exhale on a voiced TH, th, as in the. Wiggle and rotate side to side. Now we'll integrate more of the body as we glide low to high to low on U. The high point of the glide should match the low part of the squat. Same glide on V. Same glide on V. Same on Z. And the same on Z. Roll your shoulders and reset. The next exercise is called hum and chew. Do a closed mouth hum throughout your range as you move your other articulators like you're chewing a large wad of gum. Stick your tongue out, up, and side to side. And let's do that again. Out, up, and side to side. Clean your teeth running the tip of your tongue along the insides and outsides of your teeth. Make sure you change directions. Recheck your alignment. And lastly, let's stick your tongue out. Make sure it's flat. Bite down and count to 30. Take as many breaths as you need. This works the back of the tongue. Continue to push the tongue forward and strive to keep it flat. You can also do this with pitch. Etc. Hum and chew once more to reset your voice. And you should be good to go for the rest of your vocal warm up. Have a great practice.